Listener discretion is advised. In 1994, a woman named Sandra Anderson, who was a professional dog handler in Michigan, rescued a Doberman mix from her local pound. She named him Eagle and began training him to detect human remains. Mm. Eagle took to the work immediately, and within five years, he and Sandra were in high demand to assist investigators in missing persons cases. For some reason, my brain went to he and Sandra were in high heels, (laughs) and I just imagined this dog (laughs) with four little stilettos on. I tried to get those booties for Josie when we had the ice storm, and then also when she's like slipping on our stairs. And they step like this. Yeah, yeah. Callie refuses to wear them. She she took one step, felt stupid, and just lied down and wouldn't move until I took them off. She was done. Josie yeah, it was like walk, silencing her. It's like she's like high stepping and she hates yeah, it. And she then she like manages. She shakes it. every time, like flicks she, her foot every time trying to get it off. Yeah. <laughs> she manages to get them off no matter what I do. So it's, it's not like, worth okay. it. Just poop quick. Um, <laughs> You're the one who didn't want the booties. Make it quick. <laughs> so. Uh, Eagle is great. Eagle was so good at this work that he was described in newspaper headlines as a wonder dog, which should have been a wunderhund. I was just going to say (laughs) wunderhund. I'm changing my last name to (laughs) wunderhund. Wunderhund. (laughs) And also a prodigy, which should have been prodigy. Okay. Golly. What it should have been. (laughs) My God. (laughs) And the case that first began attracting media attention to Sandra and her dog, Eagle, was that of a Detroit businessman named Wissam Hermes Konya, Mm -hmm. who went by the name Sam, Mm -hmm. like the anglicized name Sam. Um, Konya was last seen on April 22nd, 1998, leaving one of a chain of video stores that he owned. A few days later, on April 25th, the SUV he had been driving the night of his disappearance was found abandoned behind a Jehovah's Witness meeting hall with blood on the front seat. Well, I already don't like a Jehovah's Witness meeting hall, (laughs) but especially (laughs) not when there's blood. Mm -mm. But... A full year later into the investigation, the FBI still had not found any other trace of Sam Konya. And so Sandra and her dog Eagle were brought in to assist in the case. To fly like an eagle. To the sun. Find like an eagle. (laughs) Ah, yes. (laughs) In the creek. (laughs) Um, So they (laughs) they were searching a nearby creek bed. When uh, Eagle alerted his handler that he had found something, and it turned out to be a handful of tiny bone shards buried beneath two feet of mud. Nope. Like tiny little fragments under a bunch of mud. Wow. That's fucking crazy that they could even find that. Mm -hmm. I'm already impressed. Although the lab could not conclusively determine that the bone shards belonged to Sam Konya, investigators believed that they likely did because it was so near to where his car had been found and where the blood was. Mm -hmm. According to one detective on the case, the fact that only tiny fragments of bones had been discovered led them to suspect that the body may have been run through a wood chipper. (gasps) Fargo! Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay. Oh wow! This is co- this. I'm sorry, but this is covered in this book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good. Don't give it away. I love it. It's good. <laughs> so the case attracted the attention of the popular television show Unsolved Mysteries. Ever oh, heard of it? Duh. No. Which filmed an episode on Sandra and Eagle, in which they reenacted Eagle's discovery of the bones buried in the creek bed. So it was like big feature on the show. The media coverage of Eagle's abilities led to his being called in on more and more high-profile cases. So he's known as, like, this amazing cadaver dog. The fucking wood chipper dog. Yeah. Another such case was that of a Michigan biochemist named Azizul Islam, who was suspected of murdering his wife, Tracy. 
In December of 1999, the couple's marriage had been on the rocks and Tracy had decided to take a solo trip to Europe. However, when Tracy's sister could not get in touch with her a few days after her supposed return, like the sister knew when Tracy was supposed to be back from this, you know, yeah, right. live, laugh, love. Always give someone your flight information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to forward that to somebody. Mm -hmm. So sister couldn't get in touch with her, wasn't getting information from the husband. So the sister reports her missing. Mm Mm-hmm. Smart. Meanwhile, Azizul had informed the couple's two children that their mother had, this is a paraphrase, but he basically said that she decided to return to Europe and had abandoned them and wasn't coming back. Okay, take several seats. Fucking calm down, sir. Mm-hmm. You killed then, her. Obviously. So then later that month, so she had gone and it was, this was December. So on December 22nd, severed legs and arms, but with their fingertips removed, were found in the dumpster of a local restaurant. No. Honestly, don't even bother with the fingertip removal anymore. It's 2021. They're going to figure it out. Don't even bother. This was the late 90s. So it did did buy him a lot of time. Fuck. Actually. I'll give him that. So about a week later, a trash bag was discovered in a field containing a woman's torso. Police suspected that the remains belonged to Tracy and that she had been murdered by her husband. But they had no way, again, because it's 1999, Mm -hmm. to conclusively make the identification and no evidence tying the discovered body parts to Azizel. Was the field close to the local restaurant? I don't know. Um, how close it was, but it must have been near enough. Drive by. It wasn't like in a totally different state or no, anything. Okay. No. State? Um, are we in the U.S.? Yes. We're in the U.S. We are also, we're still in Michigan. Okay. Um, so Azizul Islam uh, claimed that he had nothing to hide and allowed investigators to bring Sandra and Eagle into his home to assist in the search for Tracy. So mm-hmm. he was like, fine, like, Come Have on the in. dog search my house. According to those present at the scene, upon entering the house, Eagle bolted straight to the basement where he lay down next to some paint cans and paint rollers oh. that had recently been used to repaint the basement floor mm-hmm. and began barking loudly. Yep. Got you good, so fucker. Much. Sandra informed investigators that this indicated the presence of a large amount of blood. Like the lying down and just... Yeah. That had been, like, painted over. Uh, Yeah. Recently. He wasn't wasn't alerting to the cans of paint themselves. He was alerting to the the floor. Yeah. Where the cans of paint were sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Islam claimed that he had repainted the basement in preparation for putting the house on the market. Okay. I need to repaint my basement. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> as long as we know where Corey's at mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> as long as he cooks for us next weekend yeah I know I knew what you meant <laughs> on the basis of Eagle's behavior police obtained a search warrant for Islam's home so he had just like given them permission to search his home but, but not he could have revoked like, that at any yeah. time so now that this dog is like alerting and clearly freaking out he could have kicked them out but mm-hmm. they got this search warrant They then confirmed the presence of blood underneath the fresh paint. Yep. Azizul Islam was taken into custody the following day. DNA testing later confirmed that the torso, arms, and legs belonged to Tracy, and paint chips found in the basement were found to match paint chips on her dismembered body. Oh, poor thing. So they were able to link... It's probably All where she above. died. And, yeah. yeah. Or at least God. where he, like, mm-hmm. cut her up, unfortunately. Mm. His fucking wife, the mother of his children. Yep. Well, the fucking monster. So Lieutenant Wayne Carroll, who had been leading the investigation, told a local reporter that, quote, before we brought that dog down there, we were on thin ice. We could tell the basement floor had been painted and it looked like a rush job, mm-hmm. but we couldn't see any blood. And if it's been painted, I don't think they can do anything with luminol. Yeah. Like, it's 
painted. Mm -hmm. There's so many chemicals in paint, too. Mm -hmm. Like, it might have broken down the whatever aspects of the blood light up with luminol. Right. Right. So, Sandra Anderson is quoted in the same article saying of her famous pup, Eagle, he thinks he's a deity. Maybe he's dyslexic. When I say dog, he thinks I'm saying God. He doesn't speak English, lady. It's a weird, it's a very weird quote that That I had to include. She's trying to be funny and she's, the jokes aren't landing. Yeah, she's failing hard. Stick to cadaver work, honey. Leave comedy to the rest of us. Well, she's clearly very good at cadaver work, so. That's what I'm saying. She's fine where she's at. Stick to it. So Eagle's schedule was soon booked solid for like other investigations. Crime con. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Actually, there was there was uh-huh. a canine whatever at Crime Con that uh-huh. one year. Although Crime Con is problematic, <gasps> and we're not going. That back. was so amazing. I met a cadaver dog. Mm-hmm. She licked my hand. Oh, she has your scent now. Oh, if you I die, know. she'll find you. <laughs> Good. I trust her with my life. I don't remember her name. Oh. <laughs> I love it. She had a very tender tongue. She had a very soft mouth. Soft mouth. (laughs) So, (laughs) hashtag soft mouth. (laughs) So, Eagle's schedule is book solid. A lot of names on his dance card. He's got a book tour. He's got a press tour. (laughs) He's giving four seasons. Autographs. (laughs) Autographs. I'm dead. I'm dead. She's so pleased with herself. Autographs. <laughs> I, I don't think she's ever been this pleased with herself. Okay. No pause. one. No pause. one. Pause. Pose for a fo- for a photograph. <laughs> there we go. It came out eventually. I don't think anyone has ever said autographs ever. I totally made that up. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? I love TM. it. TM. <laughs> you did a re- TM. TM. <laughs> Call Julian. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sandra was then named director of the canine unit of the Great Lakes Search and Rescue <sighs> Team of Michigan. So she's, her career is is skyrocketing too because she's hitching her so wagon to his tail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shag and wagon. But he's not getting paid. <laughs> they also began traveling the world to assist on other cases. And like, then they oh, fell in love. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is starting to sound like <laughs> okay. a montage. Levine episode. <laughs> yeah. Like a montage in a rom-com. <laughs> they toured the world. Yeah, it, They're just eating only, pasta. Literally, yes. This next part is written like a montage. So, Sandra touted Eagle as the world's only internationally certified canine death investigator. I'm seeing the certificate, like, <laughs> yeah. swipe yeah. across the screen yeah, exactly. in my mind. <laughs> Newspaper headlines. Yeah, but, like, you can see <laughs> like, in an the background. Plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A flash of like papers being run through the press. A clock yeah. ticking. <laughs> yeah. A passport being handed to someone. Newsboys like hoisting <laughs> stacks of like tied newspapers. <laughs> Eagle, the world's only certified canine death investigator. <laughs> well, I sure hope you liked that clip. If you did like that clip, make sure you are subscribing to our YouTube channel, leaving us a nice review, and joining us on Patreon for even more video content, audio content, salacious content all around. Come join us. Treat yourself.